myself since I made an actual video, so here we go. Here we are rocking and rolling, combining uh, some kern. Got the boy running the grain cart, got the John Deere combine finally running, finally firing on all cylinders. John Deere combine's only a little bit late to the party, but here we are, we're rolling. Uh, pretty good harvest. I think I'm at, I'll look at how many acres. I'm at 1,222 acres right now. Got a shit ton left to roll through. Hopefully the old 2388 uh, holds up. Still unloading. Right in here, uh, there is a big hole on the next pass closest to Chad, so watch it for it. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, we're just cruising. Finally just got his combine going again. He broke a shaft on his head and there we go. Go ahead and get your ground and you can grab him. But anyhow, it's been, been a while since we made a video, so I'll just make one quick. Show you guys the green coming into the into the hopper. In this spot, there's a place that this field aren't very good. I'm only going about three, three wine or so. John Deere Combine can't go as fast as I'm going. I'm going uh, five and a half. That's all right. Just not quite familiar with it yet. He had issues with his combine originally. The, his combine this is actually a rental right now, so. Just getting a good, good and used to it. I think he's done about an hour of combine. Go down a little bit. Right, good. Running the old business band radios. Them are, by the way, are the best thing since sliced bread. Um, not a big fan of the micro mobile or whatever radios. These I got my own channel. No one else can listen on my e eavesdropping. They've got a range of quite a ways. Um, I want to move over a row or so at least. Um, My order might be just a bit longer. But, anyhow, I guess that's what we're doing right now. Harvest has been going pretty well. Um, I broke some shit in this combine. Broke, uh, well, I broke the mount that holds my shaker arm deal. Broke a shaker on basically, and then it broke the sieve, so I had to put new sieves and a new shoe in it. And uh, so we got that taken care of. Got that taken care of, and this has been running pretty good ever since. We've had a couple little rainstorms, we had half an inch yesterday. Um, to be honest, it probably could have combined through it, but I needed a day off, so we kept on. Uh, we just kept on rolling to do yeah, that. Uh, take a break and whatnot. And it's just been nice. Hey, Ted, what's your moisture reader saying? Mine's going 19 and a half to 20, but I don't know if it's right. But now we're rolling all right. Making, making headway. I might try to get my auger put through my camera, put the grain tank here before too long or something to do something different with it. Running about uh, 2,400 bushel an hour right now. So that's about the max capacity for this old girl. She doesn't like to get over 2,500. Had to uh, put a clean grain elevator chain in it here. Well, as you can see, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job this combine. About three days uh, ago. Not leaving anything. Um, I'll get back to you guys in the interior shortly. Alright, we're pulling up here to get dumped again. Auto steer. Use 
is it the auto steer, George? Talk to y'all later and we'll see you guys on the flip side.